Today, we're going to take a look at the Bookaroo Pocket Notebook. This is uh, an A6 pocket notebook, and it is perfect for the stationary aficionado. This is all reading as the description. The thing about this is when it comes to notebooks, I do tend to find that I like some of them in the extremes. This is a very nice looking notebook. It's hardcover. It does have this little pocket. It comes with a note in it that we don't need now. It's, you know, got the thing around it, tells you about it, who cares? Now, some people really like this band. So if you like this band, that's great. I have a tendency to yank them out of there and get rid of them. It also has something that's helpful is, and I always forget what it's called, the little tassel tells you what page you're working on. I'm full of important stuff, and I know you are. You know, that very first <laughs> idea See, we didn't even see the page. So let's take a look at it. Let's first talk about the color of the paper. Taking a look at the color of the paper, we see that this is more of a cream tone paper. That cream tone paper likely means that we're gonna get some tone variation on the ink itself as we are writing. Not a problem as long as you don't mind having some cream tone paper. When it comes to looking at the back of the page, I see only one little spot that seems to have gotten a little bit darker a little bit deeper into the page, not any kind of a really big deal. You write back here, it's going to go away. But take a look at this. Really, no bleeding, no ghosting. That's just a deeper spot. It definitely did not bleed. There's nothing on the other side. Let's take a look at how it did in the actual writing. First, taking a look at the dry fine. The dry fine, we get a slightly darker tone, which we could expect as a result of the tone of the paper. We get no feathering. We get no spread. We get shading. Certainly looks good. The wet fine is a whole lot darker than it was on the Claire Fontaine, which is the purest look of the ink itself. But for a pocket-sized notebook, this is doing incredibly well. We don't get a lot of pocket-sized notebooks that aren't super expensive that do so well. The medium flow, medium nib did very well. I think it shaded a little bit more here than it did with the Claire Fontaine. Interesting. The medium flow broad, there's no... Uh, Fe no, no, uh, not feathering, no uh, spread, which you kind of expected a little bit. I kind of expected a little bit, and there's not. This does incredibly well. Same tone, no uh, feathers, nice shading. The wet broad, the one that we really expect to give it the greatest problem, and we've got largely the same tone. We've got no feather, we've got no spread, we've got really a great performance in what's happening. And to me, I see something like this. I see this type of notebook. And the thing about it is I really like a notebook that fits in my back pocket. This one looks really good. What a real step up performance compared to the uh, infamous Moleskine. Choose the Bookaroo instead. I think it's really worth it. Does it have the pocket in the back from the Moleskine? No, it does not. But it has the pocket up front for whatever that quick piece of paper is, you know, that receipt that you needed to hold on to. The Bookaroo, a great notebook, something we should take a look at, something that is probably a bit overlooked when it comes to the fountain pen community. I hope you got something out of this video, and thanks for watching.